Hello everyone and welcome back to the C Sharp tutorial series on collections. So in this video we're going to talk about multi-dimensional arrays. Let's see what are multi-dimensional arrays. So here we have um, one array with one dimension. See we have uh, multiple items in this array. Now another dimension would be having two or three of these rows. So it's essentially a list of lists you could say. Um, so here's our collection of one, two, three, four, five. This is one collection, so it would be one dimension. If we had another collection right here inside of this array, then it would be two dimensions and so on. So let's see how we would actually implement that. Um, we're going to start by making just a regular array um, so we can see how this is um, made. We'll call it my array. And then we will say equals um, one, oops, one, two, three. All right, so this is an array. Um, we have one collection right here, one, two, three. Um, it is a one dimensional array. How do we make it two dimensions? Well, this little comma right here will make it two dimensions. All right, so now it's complaining, it's saying, hey, um, it's expensive. A nested array initializer is expected. So what we can do then is we can keep this as one collection, but we want to make another collection. So we will make another collection with four, five, and six. So we'll go ahead and include some spaces here. All right, so they're still getting mad. So we need to wrap this entire multi-dimensional array in all in one, all right? So now we have a multi-dimensional array because there's one dimension, two dimensions, all right? All wrapped together to be my array. All right, so how do we access this? So um, this is where for loop skills will come in not only handy, but will be required. So let's go in here. We'll do, um, we'll call this var i for index equals zero i is less than, we typically would do my array dot length. And if we did this, it would technically work. However, we would get all of this. So we'll do um, i plus plus here. Um, so that's not what we want though. We just want however many, or we just want to get this first collection. We want to iterate through each collection. So, or excuse me, we want to iterate to get each collection. So I would be the first, I one would be the first collection, or excuse me, um, the first time I hits, it would be one. The second time it would hit, it would be two. So that we should really only get two. So that fortunately there is a, um, a property called rank. It gets the rank number of dimensions of an array. So we can call that and we're good to go. So we can say console dot right line and we can just say I. All right, so let's see what we get. All right, we are running this and we get one and two. Let's see, we'll close that. And so we get one and two. That means we've gotten one, well, technically it was zero and one, but we've gotten two, um, two numbers because of both of these arrays. So now we need to dive deeper. Now that we have the first array, let's say, so I would be the first collection. How do we actually access this now? So let's dive in a little further. So we're going to do this another for loop. So we'll call this time. So this, this one will represent these individual items. We'll call this var um, num. And we'll call this list just to uh, make this make a little bit more sense. Okay, call this num and it equals zero. Um, and then we will call this, let's see, um, 
num is less than. All right, so when we do this, um, there's really, there, there might be a way to do this. However, right now, um, with my limited knowledge, um, I believe the best way to access these would just be to say um, the number um, the number of items. Because since it is a multi-dimensional array, all of the numbers um, in each collection need to be, or the amount of um, items in each collection needs to be the same. So if we do this, it'll say an array initializer of length three is expected. So we will get in trouble if we do that. So it needs to be um, the same all around the board. So we can just say less than uh, three will be just fine. All right, whoops. Um, and then we can do j oh, num plus plus. All right, now we can do console dot write line and we can say, oops, we can simply say my array and inside of my array, we're going to do the list, figure out which list, and then we are going to get the number from that list. So let's go ahead and run this. We should get one, two, three, four, five, six. So there it is. All right, and let's see it broken up um, just a little bit. We can do this, console.writeLine. Uh, just so that we can see this for a little bit more clarity. Um, we'll just throw in this little nasty divider and we'll run it again. And there we go. So our first collection was one, two, three, four. Our second collection was four, five, and six. So join me in the next video. We're going to talk about jagged arrays in the next video, which is which will allow us to make um, each array a different size however we like so I look forward to seeing you in that one and until then um, thanks for watching